Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophonet and welcome back to The Witcher 3 on the Dead March difficulty. Uh, I want to start off today's episode with a few requests. As you might have noticed already, we're starting to run out of quests. And we're starting to near the end of uh, my Witcher series, which is uh, a big thing to say the least. Because I've spent uh, pretty much a year of my life on this series, so pretty big for me. But that also means that we're gonna have to uh, start something else. And I'm wondering what you guys want me to play. I'm currently doubting between uh, Final Fantasy XV, a playthrough of that game, or a uh, run through the survival mode of Fallout 4. If you have any other suggestions, please do leave them in the comments. Or if you want me to play uh, any of those two games I just mentioned, leave that there as well. So I have a kind of an idea what you guys want me to play next. Uh, another thing I wanted to ask is if I missed any of the side quests that are really great and you want me to uh, play them but I just kind of missed them, please uh, let me know in the comment section as well and that will be one of the next episodes then. But with that said we're gonna head on with a few extra side quests and uh, I found this marker on the map, don't know what it's about but this guy is called Francois it appears so let's talk to him. Wake up, man. <clears throat> oh. Oh. You scared me off to death, Drifter. What do they call you? What's your crest? Speak! Just uh, call me uh, Ravi of Fourhorn. Uh, call me Geralt of Rivia. Geralt of Rivia. Crest of the bridge. Hail and well met. Mind telling me why you're here? For the head of Grotori, the monster from yon cave. I swore on my honor I would bring it to my betrothed, mounted on a pike. Mm -hmm. Made and any that's progress. why you're sleeping under a tent. I, um, <clears throat> I've been gathering my strength. I shall attack soon. I gave my word, and my word is my honor. Uh, but your word might take a while, apparently. Uh, maybe I can help? Wouldn't happen to need any help, would you? I don't know. After all, I did swear a solemn oath to... Deposit the beast's head at your beloved's feet. No mention of you killing it all by yourself, though. Yes, indeed. Oh, oh, uh, That's a smart way of thinking. Right. We must fight side by side, then. For honor. I'm guessing you're, go you're more gonna be in the back... Help Francois defeat Grottore. Grottore, okay. Feet as cold as ice. Ooh, that sounds like an, uh, an ice elemental. But hey, I guess we'll see. So let's follow Francois. Ooh, and there we have the cave. Look at that. Fancy. But no I tracks, be it the one seems. To its head. We gotta kill it first. Yes, indeed. Because, ooh. Wow. Mm, strange. No sign of Gratori. Perhaps oh. we should turn back? If there's no beast, there's no beast. Damn shame, but we tried. Not so fast. Let's take a look around. Nice try, Francois, but we're indeed gonna have a look around. Those flowers kind of look like the ones we've been seeing near uh, Succubi. So that would be interesting. Don't know why a succubus would be called Grotori. Uh, but hey, let's take a look. So the flowers are, of course, of interest. Impressive. You'd think you were in a winter garden. Unless it's not really winter outside, is it? Why did you add the winter? Not cold here. Even though the quest is called Feed as Cold as Ice, but... Let's do that. What's this? Blob moss? Yes. Okay, so flowers are here. Ooh. Branches. And a crib filled with children's shoes. Don't I've ever seen a collection this grotesque. Interesting. Why is there a crib here? And these things don't look that good. We've seen these things before when we uh, we released the heart of the forest. Ooh, that's a while ago. I can examine it at least. The other side. Okay then. 
Then how do we get through this? Can I dive in this water? Doesn't look like it. What's this? Bones. Small skull. Fontanelle's not completely closed. An infant. About a year, maybe. Ooh, a dead baby. So, Francois mentioned that it eats babies. Gotta be. Seems to be off somewhere, probably feeding. Need to lure it. Okay. Very well. To work then. Gods, thy will be done. Okay, but I'm first gonna read the bestiary entry if you don't mind. Grottore happened like this. A nasty rain caught me while I was out in the woods, so I thought to myself, I'll hide in some hollow. For God forbid I get soaked through and catch a cold at my age. So I crawled into a cave and there inside, something roars at me. Tore out of there so fast, wind had dried my coat by the time I got home. Valis Stale Herbalist No one knows exactly when the spriggan called Grotore first made its home in the caves at the foot of Mount Gorgon. Spriggans usually prefer isolated backwoods and rarely make dens in caverns. Yet Grotore seems to have taken a liking to grottos, given rise to its nickname. The monster was quite well known among Beauclair knights, who often talked of it as a potential source of great glory. One, uh, none were particularly eager to actually engage the monster in combat, however. None, that is, except for the young knight, Francois. So we have Dimeridium, Bombs, Relic Oil and Igni. So we could at least apply the relic oil already on our uh, Aaron diet. There we go. And now lure out Grotori by setting fire to the plants using the Igni sign. I was actually planning to do that. Oh, the flowers. Oh. Why am I on fire? Hi. Yeah, I think we fought one of these once. By accident, actually. You're a big fellow, aren't you? Oh, shit. Did he just spawn a... Oh, shit. Wow, okay, that just took me out. Okay, so we need to take care of the arch force first. Oh, never mind. He just keeps spawning them. Okay, so it seems like it stops at two arch pores. There we go. Ooh, that was pretty tough. Jesus Christ. Okay, is that it? Wow, that took me a few tries. Yeah, let's take its head off. <sighs> By my troth. The damned brute was sturdy. Yeah, those two I, arch pores didn't I'm really help. Grateful Witcher, you aided me greatly. Look at this place; it actually looks pretty yes, cool. You must accept this trifle as a token of my gratitude. Well, I'll accept any trifle. Thank you. Uh, why not choose a less fearsome beast? Why the challenge? 
couldn't have gone after something less formidable? A werebub, for instance? Uh, why? For... For the beast must match in ferocity the very ardor of my affection and... You're blushing, Sir Knight. Oh, it's my betrothed. The thing is, she champs at the pit to get married when we've not known one another but two years. So I vowed to slay Gratori. Thought it would buy me time to battle such a beast why it could take months. <laughs> Especially at the rate you were going. Yeah, so he was buying himself some time. So time to head back to Beauclair then. High time you returned to Beauclair, brave knight. Nay, oh, nay. The head of this beast is a trifle wholly inadequate to express the love I harbor for my There we throat. go. He doesn't want to go through awaits. with it. Uh, to honor her, I shall cut down another more terrible beast. I'm going to send you back to your wife. Take the damned head and go back to, to, to Beauclair. Yes, indeed. Take my advice. Grab the damned head and cut the shit. There you go. Transferal of heads. You are blind to my predicament. Once I return, I will have no recourse. She'll track me to the nearest shrine, one. Shut up and listen. Crests, scrap metal armor, swooning damsels. All that's nothing to do with hunting monsters, which is work. Damn hard, dangerous, and thankless work that you're just not cut out for. Want to prove your valor? Go back to your betrothed and be honest. Tell her you're not ready to marry. You do yeah, not that should words, take master. some real courage. In Tucson, one might demand satisfaction upon trampled ground for a lesser slight. Yet, there is truth in what you say, I cannot deny. I survived with my life by a hair. It is time. Time I returned home. Yeah, go back to her and talk it out a bit. Goodbye, Francois. You take care. Feet as cold as ice. So I'm gonna assume that... Still don't know why Geralt called this a winter forest, a winter garden. Because there's nothing really indicating something wintry. Let's see, because we couldn't pass through here before. And now we can, so there might be some more treasure in here. Blood moss! That is great treasure. Gold nuggets? Which is something, I suppose. And the formula for green armor dye. Yes, that was, I, that was what I was missing indeed. I don't think so, but hey, it's something. Oh, those flowers are gone. Oh, It did make for a really cool arena, but... I'm a bit sad about the flowers. Where, where does this lead, actually? It's a dark hallway. Oh, this just leads back outside, apparently. Is this the way? Oh no, there were two entryways apparently. That was a nice bit of loot. It was something at least. For my troubles, there... What's this? Is that a helmet? Somebody died here already. Probably one of the skeletons. Okay. Um... Let's see. There is this Knight for Hire quest, which uh, was supposed to get me to uh, do some work for everybody around to Sa, and apparently I completed that while doing the other quest so I should see the Ducal Camerlengo about my pay apparently so let's go do that to end the episode huh that's interesting I was lured here by uh we're back in the arena I was lured here by that giant smoke plume and what the so hell is you. this are you the one that the Kessa summoned to help? Is this everyone that died in the... Ooh, what the hell is this? Why is there a burning pile of corpses in the center of the arena? Not that many people died, we just defeated them in combat. We didn't kill anybody. What the hell? Okay then, I suppose. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys up there in Beauclair Castle. So, right in front of uh, Beauclair Castle, we need to go to the left in front of the bridge here. And then we should be at the Ducal Camerlengo's office right over here. Is this the door? Looks like it is. Hello? 
Can somebody give me some money? Oh, you look like a Camerlengo, all right. Greetings, brave hero. I am Raphael de Surman, and I am the Ducal Camerlengo. Yeah, we I'm figured Geralt. as much. So what is it you do here? I pay the knight's errand. For what? Oh. Our knights wander the roads protecting Tusa from bandits and monsters. It is fitting and just that they be recompensed appropriately for these toils. Uh, note, sir, that should you successfully smash your hands, save a brother knight from peril, or extract a captured merchant from the hands of cutthroats, come see me. You shall oh, that is wanted. nice. So we get Speaking rewarded for friend, every little thing I've heard we do. Reports of feats of great bravery. Thus, please accept this reward for your dedication, sir. That's actually pretty cool. And how much do we get? You sell things to show me what you got. Care for a game of Gwent? A coin to pay the knights. Where does it come from? Can't That's indeed the question. But where do the funds for those payments come from? The ducal treasury, of course. Her illustrious highness, Anna Henrietta, assigns great value bravery and selfless patriotism. It is her standing order that any knight may receive a wage, <coughs> pardon me, financial compensation for his dedication to defending the duchy's internal security and order. Sounds fair enough. So uh, thank you for the money, I guess. How much well, did I get? See you later. Go in peace for a night. Complete the contract you took on from the Camerlengo. Hmm. So I got 100 crowns for the one contract I apparently did. And there's 14 left. So I'm gonna guess that's the uh, question marks on the map. So the, the Radiant style quests. Just the things that you can do uh, on the map. Like saving a merchant in a cage. Uh, saving an abandoned settlement from monsters, etc, etc. Ooh, painting. That kind of looks like the painting I made. In the uh, during the party, but hey, with that said, I'm gonna take a little break. So, thank you guys enormously for watching. Don't forget to uh, leave any suggestions as to what I'm gonna play next when we uh, eventually finish off with The Witcher and uh, leave that right down in the comments. So, thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, don't forget to give it a thought to subscribe to my channel because I'd really appreciate any support you guys can give me. So thanks again enormously for watching and I hope to see you in the next video or series. Goodbye.